Okay, same deal. I'm recording on my laptop, so I don't know if the video is going to be better or worse, but last video was like 10 minutes, so it's going to take a while to upload on my phone, but I just wanted to get this down. So for Ares, Ares is the god of war, right? It rules the first house of self in the zodiac, powered by the planet Mars, a planet of action. I'm going to need you to engage twice. This is for Ares. Fire signs, you can take it as well. Cross watchers, you can take it as well. Whoever sees it, you don't have to be, but I'm going to go for each zodiac sign. I'm just thinking off the top of my head, but I want you to engage twice, right? So I want you to write and feel this exercise for an idea that you have, and then also the idea that I'm about to share with you right now. Um, it can be pertaining to Aries energy, planet Mars energy, which rules action. Um, and then Aries rules identity itself, but I'm not trying to overcomplicate it. Thank you, and I need you to write this in the comment. Thank you for wise and safe action. Thank you for wise and safe action. Now, feel, I, I want you to associate a positive emotion with that. You can put your hand on your heart like I am. And we're going to give a little bit of time to this. And the idea is that we're all collectively manifesting this for ourselves and others. This is why it's important for you to engage. Like the video, share it here and across all social media, or whatever you're moved to, favorite it and comment. Thank you for safe and wise action. Thank you for safe and wise action. I want you to imagine your heart opening up to that statement, up to that thought. And I want you to begin to feel how does safe and wise action feel. You can talk out loud or you can just listen to me. It feels good. It feels positive. It feels healthy. It feels safe. It feels stable. It feels secure. Thank you for wise and safe action. I'm also getting like gratitude. Okay. The key is, is when you're manifesting, you want to write in the present tense as if you already have it. So now what I want you to do after we've given some time feeling, the key is feeling because your emotions are magnetizing that statement, right? I want you to think in regards to, it could be related to Aries, the first house, or just having to do with action in general. Mars is the planet of action, right? Willpower, motivation. I want you to think of something that you might desire in regards to that. And I want you to comment that. And I want you to do the same exercise where you feel it, where you say it, and then you associate a positive feeling, positive emotion with it. And write a statement as if you already have it. And say thank you for it, or whatever the statement is. As long as it's in the present tense. Like for instance, I wrote, and this is off topic, but an example of present tense, right? I am ahead financially. Um, what else is it? I am free. I am happy. I am joyous. Okay, so you get the, you know, it doesn't have to be an I am statement, but as long as it's in the present tense. So think of one and comment it if you're willing to share. Ideally, it, it, it'll be based on like a positive action or something, but it doesn't have to be, but I'm just trying to do it sign specific. Um, because I know that each zodiac sign essentially rules over that territory or, or domain that we're referring to, whether it's Aries or the ruling planet Mars, right? I'm trying to think what, it, uh, like an action. Typically, you know that it's like a, I guess you would say like a good one, but not to try to like categorize it, but typically you know it's something to start working on as a manifestation when it's a desire or a want right so for instance like um you know i'm grateful that i get to work out every day and especially like so if that's something that, that you desire to do or that you're not able to do but you want to or you desire to then that would be a perfect statement that would be a good example of that statement because it's having to do with action, right? 
or if you want to go more so towards the Aries category, it has to do with identity itself. Um, but I'm sure you'll think of a great example. And like I said, for those cross watchers, it doesn't even have to be action or Aries related. It could be whatever you want. As long as you're coming across this video on this exercise, I want you to take the key core principles and apply it. It could be any desire, any want. It could be an I am statement or it could be a thank you statement or whatever kind of statement as long as it's in the present tense as if you already have it and you're associating a good feeling with it and you're feeling those good feelings with it. All right. And then I think a big question would be like, well, how often do I got to do that? And how often do I got to? And I would say, I mean, one part of me says do it until you manifest it. Do it until you really attract it and pull it into your life. Or I would just say make it a practice moving forward. It doesn't have to be specifically for that one fixed manifestation, but just in general. Um, and like I said in the other videos, if you really want to amp it up, um, listen to Binaural Beats on YouTube. Type in Theta Alpha Binaural Beats, um, B-I-N-E-U-R-A-L Beats. And that synchronizes your brain wavelengths to a Theta and Alpha signature, and that's good for manifesting. Um, like I said in the other videos, you could even, you know, write them out, feel it, say it, practice, carve out some time each day to do it. I started writing it uh, with my left hand, which if you're not left-handed, I think is a good practice because it's synchronized with the right hemisphere and that's the manifesting uh, hemisphere, creative, intuitive. Um, and I also did a video for the collective where we where were essentially manifesting world peace. I think the statement was, um, uh, I think the statement was, thank you for world peace, and we actually went through that, so if you're interested, go on my video and watch that. Um, okay, but that's Aries, let's move on to Taurus, let's see what's up. I hope to get a lot of engagement, shares, likes, and as always, follow me on TikTok. Thank you guys, love you.